Hey everyone, in this tutorial we will add a lovely watercolor effect to our photos. Let's get to it. Okay, after you open your photo in Photoshop, press Ctrl J keys to make a copy of background layer. Then right click on the new layer and click on convert to smart object. Then you might wanna resize the image and make it a little smaller. So you can do that with the Ctrl Alt and I keys. Now go to filter menu and select filter gallery. In filter gallery window, choose dry brush filter with the brush detail set to 10, brush size to 0 or 1, and texture to 1 and click on OK. OK, go to filter menu again and from blur menu click on smart blur. For this filter, you can set the threshold to 100 and radius to around 10, depending on your photo. We just want a smooth and soft blur over the image. Then double click on the blending options button of the smart blur filter. In this window, set the mode to screen and opacity to 30 or 40%. It will give the image more bright and desaturated look. Go to filter menu once again and this time from stylize menu click on find edges. Now double click on the blending options button of the find edges filter. Set the mode to multiply and the opacity to 50% and hit enter. Ok, we are done with the effects. Now you should download the paper texture photo from the internet and drag and drop it into your project. Resize the image to cover the entire photo and hit enter. Bring the paper layer below the photo layer. You can add guides around your subject as I do to make it easier to locate it in the next step. With your photo layer selected, hold Alt and click on the mask button. Now wherever you paint white on the mask will show the photo. Then you should download some watercolor or paint stroke brushes for Photoshop. And all you have to do is to double click on the brush files that you have downloaded and it will be added to your brushes. In this level you just pick some watercolor brush and the white color and click on the areas you want to be visible. I decrease the brush size by holding the alt and right click and dragging the mouse to left or right. When you're happy with the brush size just click once or twice on the subject. Now repeat the same process with different brushes till you get the results you want. You can also change the brush angle by changing the direction of this arrow. And one more thing, you can change the color to black and erase unwanted areas with the same brushes. And that's it, we added this lovely watercolor effect to our photo. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and also tell me what tutorial you want me to do next in the comments section. Thank you for watching.